Hello my students, my name is Muhammad Amara and I'll be teaching you physics this year. We will be using experience physics as a book to teach you from. But before talking about the book, what about talking about physics? What is physics and why is it important? Actually physics is crucial to understanding the world around us, the world inside us, and the world beyond us. It is the most basic and fundamental science. Physics challenges our imaginations with concepts like relativity and string theory, and it leads to great discoveries, like computers and lasers, that lead to technologies which change our lives, from healing joints to curing cancer to developing sustainable energy solutions. As an experimental science, physics utilizes the scientific method to formulate and test hypotheses that are based on observation of the natural world. The goal of physics is to use the results of these experiments to formulate scientific laws usually expressed in the language of mathematics, which can then be used to predict other phenomena. Students will best learn science when they do science. That's why this modern program puts the focus on the student experience. With experience physics, learning is based on doing science. This new program implements a learning model that organizes learning around phenomena, giving students an authentic real-world experience, includes a variety of hands-on and digital activities designed to reach each every learner. Partner with Flint Scientific to deliver high-quality inquiry labs, engineering workbenches, and performance assessments. Allows instructors to personalize their course by selecting from our activities or embedding their own. That is the vision of the experience physics. Also, an active learning classroom will be used by Experience Physics with collaboration with FIT simulations. A lot of math practice problems with Physics and Math Skills Workbook. So, the Experience Physics program integrates with Physical Science, Earth and Space Science, and Engineering Design across five units of instruction called storylines. Each storyline is launched with an anchoring phenomenon that is revisited in the investigations comprising the storyline. Experience physics is a blended and integrated approach that optimizes teaching time and student mastery through student-driven digital and hands-on activities. Each learning experience is designed to integrate the three dimensions of science instruction, disciplinary core ideas, science and engineering practices, and cross-cutting concepts. In storyline 1, we'll talk about force and motion. In storyline 2, we'll talk about forces at a distance. In storyline 3, we'll talk about energy conversion. storyline 4, we'll talk about waves and the types of waves and also the electromagnetic ones. In storyline 5, we'll talk about it from the nucleus to the universe. Mechanics is generally taken to mean the study of the motion of objects or their lack of motion under the action of given forces. Classical mechanics is sometimes considered a branch of applied mathematics. It consists of kinematics, the description of motion dynamics, the study of the action of forces in producing either motion or static equilibrium. And the mechanics will take place in storyline 1 and storyline 2 also. What about heat and thermodynamics? Heat is a form of internal energy associated with the random motion of the molecules of matter or with radiation. Temperature is an average of part of the internal energy present in the body. 
The lowest possible energy state of a substance is defined as the absolute zero of temperature. An isolated body eventually reaches uniform temperature, a state known as thermal equilibrium, as do two or more bodies placed in contact. The former study of, of states of matter at or near thermal equilibrium is called thermodynamics, and the thermodynamics will take place in the storyline of 3 energy conversion. We are not only going to talk about thermodynamics in storyline 3, actually we will also talk about the types of energy, the kinetic energy, the potential energy, uh, how do we convert from kinetic energy to potential energy and vice versa. Electromagnetism Electromagnetism deals with the study of electromagnetic force like electric fields, light, magnetic fields, etc. There are two aspects of electromagnetism which are electricity and magnetism. Optics Because light consists of electromagnetic waves, the propagation of light can be regarded as merely a branch of electromagnetism. However, it's usually dealt with as a separate subject called optics. The part that deals with the tracing of light rays is known as geometrical optics, while the part that treats the distinctive wave phenomena of light is called physical optics. More recently, there has developed a new and vital branch quantum optics which is concerned with the theory and application of the laser device that produces an intense coherent beam of un of unidirectional radiation useful for many applications. We'll also talk about nuclear physics. Nuclear physics is the field of physics that studies atomic nuclei and their constituent constituents and interactions in addition to the study of other forms of nuclear matter. Nuclear physics shouldn't be confused with atomic physics, which studies the atom, including its electrons. As learners, college and careers as adults and learners, students and learners can apply these skills by educating others about the cost and risk of source extraction, using what they know about force as a construction and building engineer, also using models to explain relationships, studying matter at different scales to identify patterns, managing operations at renewable energy facility, and etc. Thank you for watching this video and I can't wait to see you.